hi there i come with a new video so i am going to create so hide password field in this video so here you can see i have already created react starter file so in this so in this project i am going to use react.js so as you can see here i have i have already created a starter file so as you can see here srt folder there are too many files so i'm going to delete is all file first so before delete i am going to run this app as you can see so let me run first so right npm I start let's bet it will take some time now as you can see here it's open so let me resize first okay so as you can see i am going to delete all the file first delete and delete simply yeah i am going to create first file that is index.js so index is there import here port react dom and write react dom dot render and keep our app component so i will create later so first and where we want to render this app so here you can see index file and here you can see root element we want to render within this element so simply go target this one so document dot get element by id give simply id root now let's create app component so import app from app and create here app file app dot js now const app Uh, there for testing purpose and export default app now so here is a small letter now. yeah as you can see here hi there so i am going to write everything within here so first i am going to take one app elements and we need to one input and some icons so i am going to use first take one input input and give the place folder here hmm. Enter password and here password as you can see now it's working and I am going to use another library that is called react icons so simply I'm going to search react icons and go here as you can see how to install simply i'm going to copy this one yeah, and i'm going to create one new terminal and simply test here so wait for install 
now it, it has installed so now I am going to use so here you can read how to use so simply I am going to use eyes icon I need to eye icon so simply says I I am going to use this one and this one so simply copy copy and here I am going to import import and second one this and comma and from there react icons slice AI now I let's use I am taking one button so simply button and inside of I can just simply now as you can see here so it's working fine give some style so it look better so simply I'm going to create one style file simply a style dot CSS here and I'm going to use here so simply import import a style so take one wrapper I am going to take one wrapper so input element wrapper and give it so simply take this one and first app display grid plus item center and min height 100 yeah. as you can see now it but in center so simply I am going to a style input element and second this one so implement I give the class name so class name password fill let me copy first and go here and simply select this one and and give some start padding 5 point and 1 rem yeah it's nice and give some font size font size 1.2 rem and now here give some class name so I am going to button simply and a style button padding 5 rem here as you can see I am going to use flex simply wonder now it's look nice and we found some size 1.2 ram yeah but as you can see it's not perfect bit and height so simply I'm going to give 1.5 but it is now as you can see here let and 
borderla alsun then so as you can see and i want border i want one pixel give left margin left margin for this to be i am going to three ram is too big so i am going to here and there this one copy and go here display clicks align item center sorry display flex align item no we don't need yeah now it's a stretch and here as you can see maintain some 2.1.5 and give border now nah. so it's look nice border nah. and i think give padding here padding a right same exact two point eight All right. as you can see now yeah it's great and it is our button and the background color transparent so now yeah as you can see it's great add cursor so cursor point whenever go oh, now it's cursor so now as you can see here is working i don't trust style too much i am going to create this app so here as you can see here so simply we are going to take one state and manage to it so simply go here and cons and take a state and set a state simply and here use a state so we got this one and pass initial state false as you can see and import here our user state import use a state from react so i am going to pause because first let's create then we can understand how it work constant toggle button simply set a state previous a state simply done previous state so now simply add here on button on click we can call simply toggle state toggle button now whenever value of a state is true it's mean we want to show the password but will be right inside of it. so simply we are going to here as you can see here type is password and suppose we give the type is text so we can see the value of what type inside of input box so simply we can change depend on the state value so how can we change simply here we can hmm, right condition a state a state if a state is true then 
it means text otherwise it's password now as you can see here it's working but I not changing so here we can also condition rendering so simply cut this one and right and here take if a state is true we want this one otherwise this so simply go here and now and call as you can see yep it's working fine now you can style whatever you want so i will meet you in next video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe share and comment Thank you so much.